matters now and a crisis is looming after a court declined to stop the Matatu inspection exercise in readiness for the new traffic regulations set to come into force tomorrow. Matatu operators are now racing against time to meet the required safety standards before the deadline lapses. In typical Kenyan fashion, majority of public service vehicle operators waited until the very last minute before going into a frenzy of activity. It had dawned on them that the deadline for complying with new traffic regulations was set to lapse on Monday and they split into various groups. Mid-morning found a section of Matatu operators in Nairobi making a last-minute dash to the motor vehicle inspection unit. They would arrive to find vehicles that had been on the queue since the previous night. Officers from the National Transport Safety Authority made inspecting speed governors the main focus of the inspection exercise. And this would take time as they sought to ensure that Matatu owners had installed the approved models. We are doing the, the annual and we are also doing inspection in the field of compliance to the new regulations and in particular to the new speed governor. It records the speeds of the vehicle, store the, the information and that information can be retrieved. Meanwhile, other Matatu operators raced to various outfits to have speed governors fitted in their vehicles. A spot check at one such outfit near Yaya Center found several vehicles in the parking lot waiting. We were informed that not all of this would be fitted with the gadgets by the end of the day as the speed governors were in short supply. What we are getting also from the production line is not mass. They are producing about 200 gadgets a day. Even if you were to tabulate that into the 80,000 plus Matatos, it will take so much time. Yet another group, this one comprising members of the Matatu Welfare Society, rushed to court seeking to have the deadline for compliance with the new laws extended. Stakeholders in the industry had complained that the period for compliance had been too short. That is coming, especially as a PSV. Now your time to report back a case or deadline. Magari mingi especially za kupereka watu uko Western Safari Zambali atuta manage. Mekata kwa gari mi. Sandi yotu kwa na tatu wa ngari diyo ni nini. Jusa sata yyo muda na unona imetuktupisha siku tatu hapa. The speed governors were there from the time of Michu. 2003, there is nothing new. They tampered with them. They proved that they cannot be trusted. And therefore now we are putting a full proof, a gadget. These rules should have come in December. In our meeting with them at KICC, we pleaded with them. Uh, they pleaded with me. First April, that was their date, not mine. And that's it. The new laws require, among other things, that Matatu owners fit speed governors on their vehicles, pay drivers a monthly basic salary, and long-distance owners to have a fleet management system that records data about the vehicle's speed. Since the inspection exercise began, just over 6,500 vehicles are reported to have been inspected. In Garissa, only two vehicles had been inspected. This, a state of affairs that Matatu owners argued, could lead to a transport crisis come Tuesday. But they would find no reprieve at the court. High Court Judge Justice George Odunga declined to grant orders to stop the inspection exercise. Instead, he directed that the parties return to court on Wednesday to make their arguments on why the court should stop the implementation of the new traffic regulations. Faced with the knowledge that tens of thousands of vehicles have not yet complied with the new rules, commuters are now bracing themselves for a transport crisis come Tuesday. Wilkinson, KTN.